Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwan and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Anthony Iannarino, the author of the sales blog. Welcome, Anthony. Hey, Gerhard. How are you? I see that you have Google Glass. Awesome. How did that happen? I don't know how cool they are, especially when you look at them on somebody's face. But early on, I asked to be invited into the Explorer program, and eventually I got noticed that I'd been accepted, which means you get the privilege of paying $1,500 for a beta program and a pair of very interesting glasses to wear around on your face. And I actually bought the lens for uh, sunglasses because they come with a clear lens, which is hideous, and it makes you look unbelievably bad. But the sunglasses are pretty acceptable, I think. I think so. Turn to your left and let's uh, get another look here. Yeah. So what do you use it for? Tell us about it. Really, I, I bought these because I wanted to experiment. I do believe that we're going to connect deeper and deeper with our computers and that we're using them for more and more. And we have this outboard brain that we carry around in our hand. It's our phone. But eventually, we're going to just speak to our computers and they're going to blend in with what we're wearing in our clothes, in our jewelry and things like that. And this is a massive step forward, in my opinion, because it's all activated by voice. So there's no text, even though it's really running off of the computer in your phone. You don't have to touch anything. All you have to do is just tap the side of the glasses and speak. And there's a number of things you can do. You can take pictures, which is useful. And there's a new feature where you can just take a picture by simply blinking your eye and you got a picture just like that. You can record video, 10 seconds, but now you can tap it again and continue the video going longer. I love Evernote. And all I have to do is say, Google Glass, take a note. And then I say, call Gerhard and remind him about our video conference and it will add that to my Evernote just with me speaking. I've also used it for directions, which has been pretty good, but I don't know if you want to do it while you're driving because this screen is over your eye, but you do have to look up. And unless you can look up with just one eye, you're taking your eyes off of the road to look there. If you look down, you can still see the road, but it's, um, it's not quite there yet. Yeah, I was invited as well, and I had concerns about the program. What was the concern? I decided not to buy them, not because they're $1,500 and not because uh, I don't see the value. I totally see the value. I don't see enough scientific evidence that those glasses are actually safe. I've seen a number of articles about the risk of wireless radiation, and research shows that the radiation levels of Google Glass are 20% higher compared to the iPhone 4S. Did you read that research? No, I haven't. I haven't seen that research, but I do believe that holding radio waves uh, against your head might be a bad idea. I know that that is a concern. So how do you see the future? How can salespeople use Google Glass? I don't know that we're going to use anything that's this obtrusive anytime soon. And when I look at these, I just wonder when a good designer gets a hold of this and we get a little bit better and they don't look like something that's just, it's very clear that there's something wrong with your glasses. And when you wear them, my, my daughters were horrified. I wore them into a restaurant and the girl taking the order was just staring like, oh my God, what's wrong with this guy? He's got a giant scar on his head and he's wearing some sort of apparatus, you know, and she doesn't know what's going on and probably doesn't even know what the Google Glass is, to be honest with you. They just stick out and if they are on and they're not right now, there's a little light that shines where the screen is so you can see that there's an actual light and that there's something going on there. But I do think in the future, you're going to want to be able to just say, I'm going to see Gerhard and you might say LinkedIn, Gerhard Schwantner, and it might pull up the profile so I can look at that or I might be able to see the last contact that we had in our email. Presently right now, you can see your emails and like this, you can just zip through emails and text messages and read them. But it's, a little, it's still a little cumbersome and a little obtrusive, so it's not easy to do. But in the future, I think having access to this information and what they're already working on is the visual recognition of the person sitting across from you. And when the glass can see who the person is and pull up their profile information, I think it's going to be interesting to have a record of your past conversations and all the information and maybe your agenda and other things right in front of you that right now they're here. I mean, you're doing this already. You just have it on this device instead of this device. But eventually, we're going to put it other places. And if you want to go super nerd, you can take the lenses out just by simply popping them out. And then you can just actually wear your glass. I don't recommend this. <laughs> so that, that is the nerdy look. You cannot get any nerdier than that. It's impossible. This 
pretty acceptable. Well, thank you, Anthony. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, G-Man.